YouTubers, I'm Walter, better known as P. Wall Par on YouTube. I have a lot of supporters here who I'm going to depend on to help me out with my latest project. Many of you know, the sun's about to blind me, but I think it's going to be all right on that camera. Many of you know, every once in a while, I get a wild hair up my sleeve and come up with some project and this time it's making a blacksmith forge out of an old stainless steel barbecue grill and today I'm making plans to do just that. It's an old stainless steel, well, it ain't all that old, commercial brand barbecue out here on our deck. I did buy another one just on the front deck where it's heading out of the weather. I know they designed these things to last just long enough to get you home with it. Parts rust out. You can spend enough money buying stuff to fix it. As you would just to go out and buy a new grill. So my idea is to make a, barbie, uh, a blacksmith grill out of this. I need to get it down off this deck. I'm not going to be able to get it done today. Oh, Lord, no. I'm going to need some help on that booger bear. Get it away from the wall here. That thing weighs 200 pounds. Anyway, I thought I'd show you today some of the stuff I've been planning to do to it. We're going to step out to my truck. I've been buying some parts and rounding up some parts. Now, I don't got the... I've got a certain amount of limited mechanical skills. I think we can figure it out. I don't have any exact plans on how I'm going to do this. But you, my viewers out there, might come up with some excellent suggestions and help me through this. I've done my share of blacksmithing work over the years with heating torches and cutting torches for the railroad. Never actually done any blacksmithing uh, with a forge. But I think it'd be an interesting hobby to get into. I've got plenty of projects that I can use that skill to my advantage. So let's step out to the truck and I'll put my GoPro camera on. We'll step out to the truck and I'll show you what I've got rounded up for it so far. Stand by. All right, we're going to start off right here. I was going to show you this, but I think I'll pan in on it. Too heavy for me to hold up. Planning a blacksmith forge ain't something I just invented. It's something I've been wanting to do. We're looking at a piece of railroad iron. One afternoon when I come home from work in my railroad truck, I had a piece of railroad iron laying up on the back of the truck. And I whacked it out with my cutting torch like a little anvil. That's all it is, piece of railroad shit. I didn't do a very good job of cutting it with my torch here, but I got it roughly shaped. A little work with a hand grinder. And we could probably halfway make it look like an anvil and use it for an anvil. Let's see, I ain't got a hammer with me. That's going to be part of my setup when I get it going. I've got several projects 
hopefully in here. Depends on how long I live, don't I? Well, we haven't got enough lighting here. Let's move that out in the sunlight. Now, you wouldn't know it to look at it, but that little hunk of iron, not even a foot long, has a su substantial weight to it. It weighs a good 20 pounds, 25 pounds, maybe. That'll be my small anvil. I don't know if I'll ever really get it ground up looking good, but... One thing for sure is going to make a nice conversation piece. The next item I want to show you is down the foot of my driveway. Big old hunk of railroad iron. You're going to be able to hear me with all this wind blowing or not. Behind this wooden fence post, I used to have a big old wind. that booger bear up. It's chest high on me in the ground. Out of the ground is probably going to be made that padlock holder and it would lock the tar out of a gate. But I got tired of that fence and took it down. It was more trouble than it was worth to weed eat around it every time I cut grass. Let's walk back up to the truck. Most of my viewers know I've already designed myself a blower for my garden out of pieces of an old vacuum cleaner. That's what all that stuff is. I went out today and bought me some fire bricks. They're only an inch, inch and a half thick or so. And I really don't know how I'm going to do this just yet. One way might be using this hunk of iron here. I don't know if I'll be around here yet or not. I need to get me some refractory cement. I didn't have any of these. There's one idea. Line that thing with, brick, with fire brick. Let's see if we're on the camera here. Oh, I've got a better view right there. Maybe if I bring the air hole in from the bottom, I can make a hole in one of the bricks. I can line this whole hunk of iron with refractory cement. And then stick my bricks on there. Imagine, if you will, a vent hole right there, or else on one end. I bought 12 bricks. I got a feeling 9 would have been enough. I'm going to measure my grill to see how long it is. That almost looks like a forged stone. Well, my better half just walked up and volunteered to help me tote that grill off the porch. But I'm not going to video that fiasco because I know we're going to be cussing each other before we get it down off that porch. We'll be right back with you in a minute if maybe if I don't break my neck. Well, it's a good thing I didn't video that Chinese fiasco watching us carry this down off the 
off the deck. It's on the ground. My project is on the way. This ain't gonna be the this thing ought to be the speediest project in the world. And if in the end we don't get a blacksmith forge out of this, we certainly won't be able to say we didn't try. You wouldn't think that thing weighed so much. I haven't ruled out using it as a propane grill. I got the grill covered up. I hope it's gonna stay on there with all that wind blowing. I've got enough bricks on here to hold it, I hope. Anywho, I'm open to suggestions from my viewers. I think a little bit of refractory cement around there, I can put that on each end. Now, I haven't measured the grill, so this whole thing might be too long. I might have to cut the bricks down. But that is just about the right size for the forge. We could burn a lot of coal in there. We could just pile it up right here in the middle. Maybe chop one of these in half. Or only use two, two sections. That would work. That might be long enough right there. Just use two sections. Anyway, I'm open to suggestions. Bear with me on this project because I guarantee you it ain't going to be no one day job. We got all summer, ain't we, friends? These bricks I bought down to tractor supply. Didn't have any refractory cement. Would have been nice to have some of them thicker bricks, but since I'm going to mount it on a hunk of iron anyway, most likely. I think that would be plenty thick enough. Heat doesn't go down, it rises. So we've got an anvil to grind, bricks to lay, metal to weld. Let's slide this up in the truck. Close the tailgate. That's my vlog for today. Thanks for tuning in, my friends.